This is a presentation of the new features within AlphaCam 2015 R2. This presentation deals with the addition of 64-bit support. One of the main points uh, for development of this version has been to add 64-bit support. So why have we done this? Well, Firstly, let's look at the change to the installation routine. Now, when you're installing AlphaCam 2015 R2, you will be presented with this dialog box which gives you the choice between installing the 32-bit version or the 64-bit version. If you install 64-bit you need to be aware that you may have to update some VBA macros or some VBA post processors. If you use APM or CDM you should also install the 32-bit version. Installing the 64-bit version will give you the following benefits it's the latest technology. All PCs that you buy nowadays will all have 64-bit operating systems and so what we're doing is making sure we're future-proofing being in line with all the latest systems. 64-bit uses all memory available. Your PC may have 8 gigabytes of memory installed but the maximum that you can use with 32-bit is 4 gigabytes and even that, all of that wouldn't be accessed because of other processes requiring that memory. So you may find that you're only using about 2 gigabytes of memory. Well, the 64-bit uses everything available to you, so you'll be able to use that full gigabyte of memory. 64-bit improves large file handling and parts that used to fail within the 32-bit simulator. Now they would have failed because they would have come up with out of memory messages. Well, because we are now able to access more memory, these parts will no longer fail. This doesn't mean that the system is going to work faster and produce tool paths faster for you. It just means that it will actually now be able to process them. The Vero machining engine for applying the 3D tool paths already was 64-bit so you won't see any differences with how this works. This summarizes the main points with the addition of 64-bit support into AlphaCam 2015 R2.